abuse survivors bid to seize Catholic properties after failure to pay. So we always talk about this. And now in one case, it looks like it could happen. The, the Marist brothers, an international Catholic order, is set to lose some of their properties, including their Sydney headquarters, after failing to pay for three abuse victims' legal costs, despite a court order. Three abuse victims, known to the court as MM, MJ, and HG, previously settled with the Marist brothers over historic child abuse claims that haunted the organization. The Catholic order said that they were, quote unquote, in unfortunate delays in sending the payment due to an unnamed third party. They also said they're now trying to urgently communicate with the defendant's lawyers to make the payment. When the Catholic order failed to act on the deadline in one of the motions, the Supreme Court allowed the sheriff to seize a building serving as the Morris Brothers headquarters in Sydney. MM, this is one of the people in the petition, said Mars brothers have are spending a fortune of their followers money making life hard for victims of child abuse of multiple pandemic level pedophilia okay I'm using coded word going on in the Mars brothers according to a spokesperson for the Mars brothers they are now processing the payment for the legal costs as soon as possible so let me break this down the Mars brothers are a catholic order of uh monks no, not monks uh priests and they this isn't this is happening in australia there has been uh extremely systematic uh ill treatment of children to say the least and there were three brothers who had this case against the court and the court you know had all these proceedings da 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 and this order of priests, the uh, th they were ordered to pay the legal fees, the the legal costs, expenses of these three brothers, and they were ordered to pay for these legal costs, and they did not make these payments, and because they did not make these payments, one of the petitioners moved forward, and. <laughs> Basically, the court granted the permission for the sheriff to go in and seize one of their properties, seize one of their buildings. And if that is not enough to cover the costs, then they can seize more properties. However, they are currently in the, so then, then this order of priests, the Marist brothers, they came back and they blamed the failure of payment on a third party or whatever there was an unfortunate unexpected delay like they're not really clear about why this didn't happen in the way that the court ordered but this is their story right and so now they're like oh no we're gonna send the money as soon as possible we we, we swear we swear we swear but i think it's incredible that they're facing having their properties seized over this amazing this is only in one country this is in Sydney, Australia. Well, one of the one of the buildings that um, was approved for seizure is in Sydney, Australia, the headquarters of the order. Why are Australians so good at like doing? Why why can't they when it comes to the Catholic Church? Why can't the rest of the world act like Australia does? They, I mean, it's not always so great, but in I mean, in comparison to everyone else, they do seem to be doing a lot better. Not gonna lie, so, ag so aggressive. Really against it i mean i think canada could learn from australia because canada has now good enough public support to stand against the catholic church i like this i like this mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. you you highlighted some comments you want to read them <laughs> this comment from mariam is so good She's saying <laughs> i'm a lawyer and let me tell you those lawyers will get their fees even if they have to seize the damn vatican <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's good. There's two forces of nature that are powerful forces of nature that are coming against each other. The Catholic uh, Church and Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Um D is saying seems fair to me, and doorknob head is saying seems way, way overdue to me. <laughs> this is kind yeah, of I mean, silly. Doorknob is also saying, seize it, seize it all. <laughs> I mean, this could this uh, sets a good precedent. I mean, there. I don't like. 
just beyond child abuse, the Catholic Church as an entity has enough history of crimes for us to go after everything they have. I mean, this is what the problem about the whole thing being one entity, right? So, I mean, if you're any other brand of brand of religion, you're not a legal entity. So the crimes of the people who are before you cannot be used for, like, you can't hold, for example, any Muslim entity now responsible for what um, other people did in the name of Islam before, before. Like, you can't, you can't do that, right? These are different people with different um actions you can't hold them collectively responsible but the catholic church has this weakness of the whole thing being one entity well it's literally <laughs> right. the oldest institution in the west e exactly in the, in the occidental it's, sphere it's, it is the you, oldest institution two thousand consecutive years of history so unlike protestant christianity and islam and judaism you know, everything that is done in the name of the catholic church like you could go there's an entity which is like legally could be resp held responsible for all i mean of they it. have a damn country they're in charge of <laughs> that I, that actually makes it more difficult okay so yeah it does. them them the whole thing being one legal entity makes it easy for legally to go after them for everything that is done but them having their own country makes it difficult because they are like we have our own country and this is like our own laws like you cannot cross this border so so that makes it difficult um <clears throat> so yeah i don't know if you could actually seize the vatican um it being a country at all it would be against the united nations and all it's um, really it actually pisses me off because they play the role of an institution when it's convenient and then they play the role of a nation when it's convenient and a religion when it's convenient yeah. you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.